hello family welcome back to our channel in case it's your very first time here consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share to your friends right so as you can see i'm coming live from the village yeah everything is green over here and uh, it is in the evening yeah so i just want to share with you a typical evening looks <laughs> i don't know how i can say but i just want to share my evening with you so right here i have been just collecting vegetables i really don't know how you do call them let me show you so this is how they are called but i haven't collected enough of them so we are going on the other side to continue collecting them and as you can see right here we got plants in the farm like they are really growing so fast so we got maize beans yeah remember it is it is a season whereby we do plant crops like maize and beans yeah so right now i just want us to collect some vegetables for supper for dinner and right here i got my sister here let her say hi to you guys hi guys hi. i'm judith kindly subscribe to her channel yes and don't forget to subscribe to her daughter's channel she's called Chantel nekesa i'll be pinning her link here down here kindly subscribe to her channel subscribe yeah let's support her daughter she's so ambitious she wants to get to a thousand subscribers let's make it happen guys yeah so she is going to help me collect some vegetables although for her she has collected some so we got some cowpea leaves here and then we have this i don't know how you do call them but for us we call them miro or mito drop a comment let me know how you do call them then here we have mrenda i don't know how you call them like when you cook these vegetables after adding the ash solution they will start making some things like mucus but don't mind so delicious yeah even this one so as for me today i'm collecting this and i'm craving for these ones yeah for supper so let's collect them for those who don't know how they look like when they are they are not picked let me show you yeah so this is how they look like like this one for us we call them derema let me know how you do call them guys so let's pick together as i show you around yeah And for these vegetables, they do grow in bushes like most of the time we do plant them at home and you must plant them near the water. So right here they are just planted near the tap water. I'll be showing you. Yeah. So they don't they don't do well in dry areas like they need a place where it is swampy or wet like the water is running throughout that's where they can do well yeah so let's pick then i'll be showing you around how our place looks like in the evening village life is so sweet guys so sweet let me know if you've ever eaten such vegetables yeah so this is what we are picking Nderema. We do call them nderema. Yeah. So let's put them in our tin. Yeah. So I'm just done collecting and this is enough for me. Like today I just wanted to eat this. But as you can see my sister has collected the ones they will be eating. But as for me I just want these ones. Yeah. 
So maybe there are some of you who are asking themselves, why is it that I'm not with my husband? Like my husband has gone to work nowadays. He's so busy. But very soon, hey, we are bringing good content for you guys. Meanwhile, let me show you around. Like right here, we got a lot of plants that we've grown in our farms. We got the yams. These are the yams. Yeah. Then here, we have the sugar cane. We have the sugar cane. I don't know if I can turn the camera so that you can see very well. I really don't know. Then we have here. So this one is almost ready. As you can see, so these are the sugar cane in the village. Then we got the pumpkin leaves. As you know, pumpkin leaves are vegetables also. Yeah, for those maybe who have never seen them when they are in the farm, this is how they look like. Yeah, the pumpkin leaves. So, we got bananas, the peas, yeah. So, we have this type of peas. I, I remember I posted a shot on YouTube. Then there is someone who asked me, which type of peas is that? I really don't know. Drop a comment. Let me, let me know. How do you call them in your language? This type of peas, like... Right now, they, it has not flowered, but once it flowers, I'll be showing you. So, let me know the type of piece is this. Yeah? So, I'm just inside the maize plantation, as you can see, at my back, then we got beans down there. Oh! I just found some piece that they have flowered. So right here we got the beans. This is the bean plantation. And I'm just going to show you the piece that has flowered, guys. Yeah. So it's right here. And it has been raining over here. So these are the piece that have flowered. Let me turn the camera so that you can see well. So these are the peas. This is what I mean, guys. Drop a comment. Let me know which type of peas is this. Yeah, and even others, they have already... Oh my gosh. This one, this is what I mean. They look like French beans, but they are not. Yeah. Let me know how do you call them this type of peas. Yeah. If you know them, drop a comment. And there are many of them. So guys, our beans are almost ready. They are almost ready. Like I just want to show you what I mean. Yeah. So as you can see down here, they are almost ready. So we are just giving them like around one month. And they will be ready for us to eat guys. Yeah. So generally that's how my village looks like for now every everywhere is green because people have planted different types of crops and they are really growing so we expect in two months time we will be rich here like we'll have food no hunger in the way our economy here in kenya africa is very very high like everything is expensive you need to buy everything at a higher cost like man everything is expensive here but we thank god we planted although the seed the seeds were very expensive especially for the beans they were very expensive like one kg of beans was going for five dollars you can imagine and maybe you have a big land that you need to plant but we thank God we have planted, yeah. We thank God so much. And God has really blessed us with the green environment, yeah. And then inside this farm, we got different types of vegetables. I've already shown you the pumpkin leaves. Then with these ones, we do call them derema. I really don't know how we do call them. Then right here, we have this one. This. Ah. 
this one we do call it sarat i really don't know how you do call these types of vegetables i know them in our language but drop a comment sarat not salad sarat yeah that's how we call them they look like kels or skumawiki but they are not for these ones they have a uh, a unique smell even when you cook them they just look like kels but in real sense they are not because their smell is so unique so i really love them i love them so much but for today we are not going to pick them today we are going to eat this with eggs i really like mixing these vegetables with eggs yeah then on the other side we, we got the coffee coffee plantation yeah i have shown you this this so many times so i'll not be repeating yeah and then here we have our village gate this is our village gate yes let me know how your village gates look like like when you want to close you just close but we have opened it so it takes some time to be closed because we just use ropes to tie the gates here in the villages like here in the villages there is no much theft like thieves are very few so that's why we have such gates in the village like we are secure yeah not insecure we are very secure with our compounds then we got some yams right here then bananas up there hope you can see them yeah so this is so good let me know what you think about our about our evening over here yeah and share your evening experience like for us here in the evening it's all about looking for dinner or supper and here i just thank god when you want vegetables they are available in the farm the only thing that you can go buy is the maize flour you know for us here to eat the vegetables we we do eat them mostly with the maize flour yeah so the maize flour we use the maize flour to prepare ugali and that's our staple food here in kenya yeah specifically in the western region of kenya man so for us ugali is the oh it's the main thing yeah made from corn yeah so let me know what you think about our video yeah so thank you so much for watching see you soon on our next one bye bye